Hi, welcome to Automate Now. I'm Marco Cruz. In today's video, we're going to learn how to do browser navigation using Selenium WebDriver. Let's dive in. Here I'm on AutomateNow.io website and we have a search box. Let's say that we want to search for something here. I'm going to click here and enter some text and then I'm going to click search. And here we have a page that says nothing found. From this page, we can enter a new search, but let's say that we want to go back to the original page we came from. We will click on this browser navigation arrow to go back. And that would take us back to the sandbox page. Next, I'm going to show you how to write a test that will perform that navigation for us. And here I have a new method that I've named test blog search. This is going to search for a blog article. The first thing we're going to do is to create a Boolean variable. Next, we're going to assign this variable to the following. Sandbox page dot search. And we're going to pass some text that we want to search for. Now we need to implement this method. This is going to return a Boolean. Now let's go back to the website. And here we know that if we want to search for something, first we need to enter the text in this box. Then we need to click search. Let's go ahead and find a locator for this input field. And we see that he has an ID. So I'm going to use that ID here. Now let's go back to our code and create a locator. Next, we need to get a locator for this button called search. Let's go ahead and inspect this. We can see that this has a tag called button. And if we expand this button, we see that there is some text in here called search. So we can create a next path as follows. I'm going to hit control F on the keyboard and say forward slash forward slash. And I'm going to type button. Then in brackets, I'm going to say text. Open and close parentheses equal to and then in quotes, I'm going to type the word search. Now we have a unique locator for this button. So let's go ahead and copy this and go back to the code. Now we're going to add that locator here. All right, so now that we have our two locators, we can go down to our method. And we know that the first thing we need to do is to set the text. So let's go ahead and call the method from our base page class over here. That method is called set text. And this requires that we pass in a locator as long as the text that we want to set. So our locator is going to be search box. Now we're going to pass the text. Next, we need to click on the search button. Now I could go ahead and type in some code like this, where I say driver that find element, pass in the locator and they say dot click. But instead, let's go ahead and create a common method that we can put away in this page page class, since there's going to be multiple methods in here that may be using that type of functionality or such as clicking on an element. So let's go ahead and write something like this. We're going to say click. Obviously, this method doesn't exist yet. We're going to create it. This click method is only going to require the locator for the element that we wish to click. So in this case, it's going to be search button. In order to implement this method, we're going to open up this base page class. And let's go ahead and scroll to the bottom and we're going to add our new method. This is going to require a locator. That's why we're using by here. Now we're simply going to say driver dot find element. We'll pass in the locator and say dot click. Now we can go back to the sandbox page page object and we can see that this error is resolved. Recall that we are inheriting from the base page class. That's why we have access to this method. If we go up here to the beginning of this class here, we see that we are extending the base page class. And before we continue, let's go back to the website to see what we want to accomplish here. So let's assume that we type this text in. When we click search, we're going to find no results. Now let's say that we want to go back to where we came from we will click this browser back button here and that will take us back to this page. Now we're only going to go back if no results are found. So we're going to be looking for this text here where it says nothing found. So let's go ahead and inspect this element here. And here we see an H1 tag with the text nothing found. So this would be a pretty simple X path to write. We'll say control F forward slash forward slash H1. Then in brackets, we can say text is equal to 
and then we type nothing found. Now let's go ahead and grab this locator and go back to the code. And the first thing I'm going to do is create a new locator for when no results are found. Now let's go back down to our method and here we're going to use an if statement and we're going to say if driver dot find elements and notice this time I'm using find elements not find element. This find elements method is going to return a list of elements. So we're going to try to find the element that contains no results were found. If we find at least one of those elements we know that no results were found. That's why we're using find elements here. And we'll pass the locator, no search results. And now we need to perform an operation on that list. And we're going to say dot size. So we're going to take a look at the size of that list and say if the size is greater than zero, then do the following. And we're going to say go back. And this is another method that we're going to implement in this page page class. Next we're going to say return false. And out here we're going to say return true. And I will explain this step by step in a minute. For now let's go ahead and implement this go back method here. So let's go back to this base page class and we need to add a new method here. And here's the main lesson for this video. We're going to say driver dot navigate. And this is a method that is part of WebDriver. So now we can say dot and look at all the different operations that we can perform. We can say back and this is the equivalent of clicking the back button on the web browser. Or you can say forward. We can also go to a specific URL or refresh the page. We're going to use back. And this is all this method is going to do is navigate back to where we came from. Now let's go back to the sandbox page page object. And notice that this error went away. Now let me explain what this is doing here. First we're setting the text in the search box. Next we're clicking the search button. And here we have this if statement. And this is the condition for the if statement. And here we're using driver that find elements. And this is going to check to see if we get this page here. Nothing found. We know that this method returns a list. Meaning that if we find that page that says nothing found, that list will contain at least one item. So next we're checking the size of that list. If the size is greater than zero, we know that we found that page. So this condition will be true and we're going to go inside of this block here. And we're going to call this go back method, which we just implemented. And here we're going to return false. So if we go into this if block, this will be the last piece of code that will be executed from within this search method. And this is important because we're going to use this value later in our test. On the other hand, if this value for this list here is not greater than zero, it means that we found some type of result. So we're not going to return false. Instead, we're going to return true. All right, so now that we have written this method here, let's go back to our test and let's go ahead and write an assertion. Notice that we're searching for this text here and we do not expect to find any search results. So we're going to perform an assertion here and say assert false. And we're going to type search. And this is because we're expecting this search method to return false. Let's go ahead and add our error message. Now I'm going to run this test in debug mode. Before I do that, let's go ahead and put a breakpoint over here where we call this go back method. Because we expect to find no search results, our code should go into this if block and execute this statement. So let's go ahead and run it now. And we saw that it entered the text and it clicked search. Now we're on this page where it says nothing found. Let's go back to the code and here we are on our breakpoint. When I click this button to step over this line of code, we're going to see the browser navigate to the previous page. Let's go ahead and click this. And if we go back to the website, we see that we have navigated back to the original page. Now let's complete the execution of our test. And we see that the test passed. Now let's say that we want to search for something that will return some results. Let's go back to the website and navigate back here. And here I'm going to enter JMeter. 
and click search. And here we find an article on JMeter. As a side note, I'm adding more and more articles to this website. So I encourage you to come check it often. Now let's go back to what we were doing. This time we're going to say search is equal to sandbox page dot search and we're going to type JMeter. This time we're going to assert true. We are asserting true because we expect to find some type of search results. Now I'm going to go ahead and execute this test without using any breakpoints. So what is going to happen here is first we're going to search for this text. So the browser is going to navigate back to the original page and then search for this new text here. And this time we should find some text results. So this assertion should pass. Let's go ahead and run it. And notice that the test passed. For homework, try experimenting with some of these other methods such as going forward or refreshing the page. Have fun. Thanks so much for tuning in for another video in the Intro to Selenium WebDriver video series. I'm adding multiple videos a week and I have a lot more fun stuff coming your way. So please hit the subscribe button and see you in the next video. Thank you.